Hello, I'm going to give a quick update on the swell project. Walking off my trail here. It's off in the sticks. So here's kind of where I want to bring the trench this way. Right here's where I started. Here's where I started today. I added an additional 22 feet, so I'm up to 44 feet. The trench is about eight inches deep, 21 inches wide. And then here's where I'll continue going that way towards the road. So pretty good progress so far. Also want to point out that the berm here, it's not designed to have water leaning against it. Really the water is supposed to escape at the ends. So if this were to get full, since it's all level, it would run over this way before it ran up onto the berm. That's to help prevent the berm from washing away. Also plan to plant native legumes in this berm. Uh, these are nitrogen fixers that are supposed to prepare the soil for other plants. And because they're native, they shouldn't require me to water them. You know, you see all these trees and everything here. Those are mesquite trees. This is a cat claw acacia. Those are legumes, which are nitrogen fixers. So uh, I plan to plant those types of plants along here. Just let them grow. Eventually, over time, I'll incorporate other plants into the mound. By the mound, I mean the berm here. And possibly plant some things down in the trench here. I've read that in arid environments, it's better to plant down in the trench because they have more access to the water versus up here where it's going to dry out more. My only concern with planting down here, it's really close to that caliche layer, so there's not much topsoil down in the trench area versus up here I've got this nice loose soil. But as you can see here, I've already got mesquite beans dropping from this tree here. So this is already kind of self-sustaining because I have a feeling those mesquite beans are gonna plant themselves without my help there. I'll keep you posted on this. Thanks for watching.